I guess, uh, like many people, I started in the odd fashion of not knowing where I'm going. I'm in college, I'm not happy, and I took an art class, that was fun, and I took another one, that was fun. But, you know, you don't think about a future in art. But I thought, commercial art, hey, there's commercial, I can perhaps make a living. Uh, I honestly had no sense of fine art, you know, painting and sculpture. I hadn't been exposed to it. I grew up in a small town and transferred to San Jose State and started the commercial art program there. And little by little I realized, gee, I like making things. I guess I started to see not only that it was fun, but it was serious, or you could take it seriously. Then I met Fletcher Benton, who was a successful sculptor. He had just come to San Jose State. He was quite successful, and he was going to be in a very big, important show called uh, Sculpture of the 60s, which was at the LA County Museum. That show was the most important single thing that I can point to, and I thought, that's what I want to do. I think originally I did do a lot more drawing, a lot more sketching, a lot more pre-planning. But drawings don't have weight, and drawings don't have dimension. So what I, I think I took from that, it took a long time, but I started to realize if, I, if I'm going to be working in the round, I need to see volume. There's nothing I do that happens in a day. You know, I, I've never made a thing in, the day, in a day. A uh, short project for me is three or four months. It's just more fun. You might know what you're gonna do tomorrow, but you sure as hell don't know what you're gonna do next week. Because you, you, might, be, you might be doing tomorrow's work next all next week because it takes that long. <laughs> the interesting thing for me is I've just never quite felt content. And part of that, I think, is good because it keeps you hungry. I, I never think about, can I sell this when I'm done? I hope to, that's nice. But I never start anything with the idea that it will be sellable. Uh, on a daily basis, if I feel I make a, make a part of a larger whole that's exciting or new, that in itself will, is a success. But then when you put, let's say, 20, 30 big parts together, and or you're starting to move them around, and you're seeing some new possibilities, that's real success. And it's, it's stuff that you almost can't even share, because it can be right in the middle of something, it'll get hidden or uh, whatever, it's not something you even go and say something to your wife about. It's like, it doesn't mean anything. You know, the success is what you feel at that moment. I like that. I think it's, it's enough. You know, but that part of being uh, in the arts is you have to have a critical eye and you have to have a point of view, or you do develop a point of view. You just can't be without it because it takes so much investment on your part to figure yourself out. So you do develop a point of view. And you have a, a kinship with certain people or certain styles or certain directions. Um, we each have to find where we fit and how we fit. That's complicated and it's, it always is sort of uh, evolving to some degree, I think, too. I can come into the studio and feel confident that I'm where I ought to be. That's in a way success. I'm doing what I should be doing. I'm using the materials and I've got the skills and I've still got the interest to explore. I like the idea that your, your work can actually move someone else. You know, part of making is, this is my way of communicating. I think we all need to be stirred and pushed. You know, 
I'm Michael Cooper, and I'm a sculptor for better or worse. <laughs>